What is buffering? Buffering is when we seek out things to fill a need that isn't actually what our body is needing or our spirit is needing. So often when we're stressed, what do we do? If we're walking around our kitchen, we grab sugar, we eat some really simple carbohydrates, we go to fuel that need that we have in our soul, when in fact it can't be filled that way. We really need to pause and pray or offer up whatever we're suffering through for someone else to get outside side of our own mind. And I find this to be such a critical step when we talk about eliminating things like gluten or sugar, but also when we're just trying to eat a healthier lifestyle. Um, so often when we go to the fridge, we just want something quick and simple and easy. Um, and yet if we ate a salad in those moments, if we ate something that required a little bit more time out of us, we also can nourish our bodies in a way that will impact us mentally and spiritually as well. I really encourage you that as you begin this journey of eliminating things that you think might be not the most therapeutic for you, it's really good to take that conscious mental effort to have an intention that you're offering that up for. I like to think of it this way. Um, St. Paul says that the sufferings in Christ that he lacked are made up for in our own sufferings. That's really powerful when you stop to think about it. And what that means to me is that if we don't offer those sufferings back to Christ, they just become wasted. They could have been such a beautiful opportunity to fast and pray for someone or something. Think of uh as Michelangelo was painting the Sistine Chapel, um, if he just had a little child who came and poked his paintbrush and several children did it all over the Sistine Chapel. And then at the end, we look back and it's this vibrancy that's present there that wasn't there before when the master had completed it. Those little childish paintbrush pokes are our own attempts to offer back our sufferings uniting them with the sufferings of Christ. And also the Lord says in the scriptures that there are demons that can only be casted out by fasting and prayer. So really allowing this time of saying no to ourselves and our physical desires and uniting that with our Lord can be such a beautiful witness to a world so sorely in need of prayers. So I just encourage you as you travel down your health journey, don't let these fasting and these times of self-denial go unsanctified. It's amazing how through these small sufferings that we encounter self-inflictedly, but then we also start to feel better and we can give more of ourselves to the world. So all that to say, don't use buffering as a way to get through your day. If you want to talk more about this, I'd be happy to talk. But really, I encourage you all to um, buckle down in that spiritual journey, as well as anything else that you're doing. We can so often see such beautiful results as we take this approach.